Hi, folks. Good morning. Um, depending on who introduced me to you, I'm Anthony or Tony, or for a couple of you, Anne Foos. Um, for as long as I can remember, my life has been an unforgiving cycle of extreme highs and lows. I have been haunted by a constant spiral of anxiety and shame and depression that has impacted nearly every aspect of my life. Um, and I've self-medicated in a host of unhealthy ways, all to avoid confronting an unnamed pain that sat inside my mind and my body. I've lived life without purpose or intent and without even the essence of hope that I'd ever break the cycle and find calm. During the peak of COVID, I relocated from Chicago to Charlotte, reconnecting from a favorite friend with a favorite friend from nearly 20 years ago. And Kelly and I fell in love really quickly. And soon after that, I fell crazy in love with her three kids, Nyla, Dashiell, and Owen. I started to experience a new level of happiness and fulfillment, but right on cue, a series of self-sabotaging choices caught up to me, and an all too familiar unraveling took over all things. Relationships were lost and hearts were broken. Not too long before that, I had entered the doors of Watershed for the very first time, and I came with incredible discomfort and, and hesitation. I'd never intended to enter a church again if I wasn't being paid to sing or play my horn, but I would follow Kelly anywhere, so I followed her in these doors. And when I left that day, I was intrigued enough to keep my mind and my heart open to coming back. And I did return. A few times before the unraveling and a few times after, I attended preface and listened as folks shared vulnerable stories about their own faith journeys. And the conversation resonated in a way that made me begin to feel like Watershed was a safe space. I was given permission to be comfortable with the discomfort I had in Christianity. So while I was working through the aftermath of what I'm calling the unraveling, I joined ACA, which is a 12-step program uh, for adult children of alcoholics and dysfunctional families. And just as I had on my first visit to Watershed, I walked into that building with a whole lot of trepidation. But I did walk in. And as we read through the big red book and folks shared their stories, I found myself all over those pages and all over those stories. In an instant, my life started to make sense. I came to understand that because of the trauma I experienced in a toxic home where my stepfather was an alcoholic, the cycle I had found myself in for decades was inevitable and inescapable. At the same time, I came to know that on the other side of these 12 steps, as long as I committed to the work, was salvation. The very next Sunday, I came back to Watershed, this time with my friend Avi at my side. And as the last song was sung by Austin, I just fell into my seat and started to sob. Tears and snot and moans and years of suppressed pain just came pouring out of me. But I knew I was safe to just sit here and let everything out that needed to come out. Avi sat with me. Kim comforted me, her beautiful wife, Larissa, smiled that sunshine smile. And Des reminded me that in him, I had a friend. And then an adorable little girl, who I did not know, came right up to me and she bent really low down and she peeked up through my fingers as I was crying. And in the most sincere and, sincere and curious way, just asked me why I was crying. I couldn't help but smile through the tears. For so many years, I've been searching for hope, a hope that I'd find a way off the roller coaster, a hope that I'd one day live free, live life free from the, the weight of anxiety and shame and fear, and a hope that I'd one day reconnect to my faith in a way that reconciled with my doubts, with my values, and with my curiosity. 
And friends, I have to say that I have hope in abundance. Thanks to ACA, I have hope that the recovery and healing is not only possible, but it waits for me with open arms. And because of Watershed, I have hope in so much more. I have found an understanding of God that resonates deep in my soul. I know now that God is in the circle of fellow adult children that share every Wednesday night without fear of judgment and listen with grace and compassion. I know God to be in those who love me <laughs> so deeply that they know me to be good even when I lay my sins out before them. I know God to be in the endless love and cuddles that I get from Kelly and Nyla and Dashiell and Owen. And I certainly know God is in those moments when Kim Honeycutt pauses her need to make it about herself for just one minute <laughs> and says, hey friend, how are you doing today? And I know God to be in the kindness in the safety and the curiosity, the energy and the fellowship of this watershed community. So thank you.